Hello guys, welcome to YouTube channel for money. In today's video, we are going to compare the displays of the Galaxy S25 Ultra in the titanium silver blue versus the Vivo X200 Pro in the titanium gray color. So guys, let's get started. So let's start from the display settings really quick. So just going to be in the settings and the display and brightness. So auto brightness is turned off and switching to the maximum brightness and let me turn off the dark mode and let me turn off the eye protection mode and meanwhile on the galaxy s25 ultra let me go to the display and you can see the light mode as well as dark mode and then the adaptive brightness is turned off and enabling the extra brightness and switching to the brightness to the maximum and we have the eye comfort shield let me turn it off actually the eye comfort shield have a bit more options on the vivo x200 pro you can see the anti fatigue brightness and full pwm options is available for the uh, vivo x200 pro but it's missing on the uh, Galaxy S25 Ultra, you can see. Uh, so, I come for shield and uh, let me see the screen mode. So, let's see. I'm switching to the Vivid and let's see the screen mode on the screen colors. It's, it is on the standard by default. I am switching to the bright and Vivid. So, both are at their maximum capabilities right now. And now, uh, screen resolution that's definitely a QHD plus on the Galaxy S25 Ultra and it's a hidden feature is also that's called Pro Scale that means enhances the resolution of the videos that is also available for the Galaxy S25 Ultra so let me enable it so the QHD plus versus the maximum resolution which is supported over here is the UHD that's 2800-1260 so let me enable on that one versus 3120-1440 obviously the pixels is more for the Galaxy S25 Ultra so next then we have vision enhancement option that is uh, turned on on the x200 pro and here we have another option that's in the advanced features and video brightness it's normal we can set to the maximum bright let's check on the one plus 13 so and the midnight ocean color so just go to the display and brightness and we have the light mode dark mode and we have the auto brightness is turned off and enable the maximum brightness and then we have the screen color mode by default it would be a natural i'm going to switch the vivid as we switch the maximum on a, all of them so screen color switch to bright for this guy and vivid for this guy so i'm going to switch to the maximum and then we have the eye comfort and shield which do have the ultra anti flicker and the standard anti flicker so the galaxy s25 ultra is the only one which do misses the pwm dimming options these two guys have the option you can see eye, com eye protection you can see uh pwm WM dimming options are there for OnePlus 13 as well as X200 Pro and then so let me turn this off and uh, we have the adaptive turn that's turned off on all of them and then we have the image sharpen options that means enhance the quality of lower resolution images and videos let me turn it on and then we have video color boost that means standard dynamic range to high dynamic range increase the color saturation and so so that option is also available and then the screen resolution actually this one also supports 3168 into 144 so that means QHD plus so the Vivo X200 Pro is the only one which do have the lower resolution among these uh, three of them so you can see so these two are almost the same 3168 into 1440 versus 3120 into 1440 so these two are at the quad HD plus the maximum versus this is just a 2800 into 1260 almost close to F HD plus on this guy so the standard on this guy so the Galaxy S25 Ultra option is also available on HD plus which is not available on any of them so it's a cool one so it given the flexibility and next these two of them have a maximum refresh rate of 120 hertz i'll show you in the settings and you can see the 120 is still there and you can see this motion smoothness if you switch to standard then it says gonna be in the 60 hertz you can see so maximum is 60 and whenever i switch to the 120 hertz then it's gonna be in, in 120 or zero you can see and on the you can see on it's on 120 and the lowest is let's see wait one okay one and 120 and let's see in the display and brightness and high is the 120 hertz you can see so still when we switch to the high still it is uh switching between actually when it switch to high it should be always on 120 i think and it's on 60 yeah yeah then it's completely fine okay see a refresh rate up to 120 hertz okay that's depends upon so the same thing happens in smart switch and uh, this thing works exactly the same i think you can see yeah the smart switch and high is the same option i don't think much differences in these two of them so i think most scenarios both of them are in the case of scrolling and all both of them supports 120 see Okay, so I think Galaxy S25 Ultra is a bit better. You can see it stays on 120 versus you can see it stays on 90 sometimes. See, 
it's immediately switch between 60 90 120 60 90 120 whether it's scroll, scrolling still at the time of scrolling it is switching let me switch one more thing display brightness uh, high see still if i switch to high still it's switching okay so i don't know the exact reason behind that check the screen refresh rate on the one plus 13 so it is also fine you can see it's um, from steady on 120 no flickering and let's see still this is the only guy which is 120 90 60 and all you can see it varies all the way 120 90 60 70 72 what's going on so you can see still when the hand is there these two of them are at 120 you can see see so i'd say that's a minor advantage for this uh s25 ultra and the one plus 13 so i think up from upcoming operations this would be maintained so now let's check the legs on the galaxy s25 ultra Woo! 1112 1113 1113 is 1114 yeah 1114 vivo x200 pro 865 and this is a surprise that's the oneplus 13 and let's check the oneplus 13 it's 964 so that's a clear win for the galaxy s25 ultra so you can see 966 835 36 and 1114 wow stunning s25 ultra one more thing is that we are not complete yet now for the lowest brightness so let me uh, let me show you more everything it's in its maximum you can see these three of them are at maximum now let me lower the brightness to the maximum and lowest lowest and lowest now it's time let me oh i am so both are three of them are it's there i would say the s24 ultra already nailed i couldn't even barely see nothing on the s24 ultra s24 ultra you can see oh just one lux oh man and now let's see on the x200 pro oh two uh, fine okay and on the okay so it's one plus 13 and x200 pro is a two lakhs versus the galaxy let me check on the galaxy 74 ultra one more time <laughs> yes so i'd say that's a clear win for the galaxy s25 ultra this is the galaxy s25 ultra d1 plus 13 and the vivo x200 pro so three of them are there at their maximum display capabilities and let's observe this really close i would like to see your comments regarding which one is your best in your personal friends do let me know your thoughts in the comment section and oof first thing i need to notice is regarding the brightness cells and i would say the galaxy s25 ultra is a bit better i would say in terms of the overall brightness i would say and second for the one plus 13 and third for the uh vivo x200 pro but in comes to the saturation of the displays that means the color vibrancy the vividness of the colors i would say first it goes to the Vivo X200 Pro, then to the OnePlus 13, and then finally comes the Galaxy S25 Ultra. It almost resembles close to the natural colors. And if you observe this, green is a bit more sharper. Almost these two of them are OnePlus 13 as well as Galaxy S25 Ultra is almost the same in 90% of scenarios. In some scenarios, the OnePlus 13 have a minor edge. That's it. Let's observe this red color over here. You can see this is really sharp, first sharper then next then the third one is the galaxy s25 ultra in terms of the green color you can see this is really sharp green versus second and third is the natural on the galaxy s25 ultra but in terms of the brightness the s25 ultra is at top and second for the oneplus 13 and third for the vivo x200 pro and uh, let's observe a few more scenarios they would uh, let's see you could find any difference between so seems similar deeper blacks colors seems fine no doubt anyways you guys judge okay this is completely my preference upon these three of them okay okay in this scenario the rgb color seems similar but again in yellow is a bit sharper on the x200 pro mm, this seems similar again i would feel an overall brightness is for the galaxy s25 ultra 
and the OnePlus 13 comparing the Vivo X200 Pro. Okay. Okay, still I would say this red color is sharper on the X200 Pro, second sharper over here and third natural. And in this scenario, these two of them are really sharp red versus the X200 Pro, sorry, the Galaxy S25 Ultra is a natural. Let's observe a few more scenarios. Okay, same. Okay, so definitely in terms of overall brightness of the phone, I would say the Galaxy S25 Ultra nailed it. Okay. And, and let's see, wow, stunning on these three of them, oof, so I'd say it's a completely up on your preference, so I would say if you are into the brightness, the maximum brightness of the display, then the Galaxy S25 Ultra or the OnePlus 13 would be a better option for you. But if you are into the saturation, if you like the more uh, sharper red colors, sharper green colors or something like that, then you could pick the X200 Pro. And uh, so that's it. Do let me know your valuable thoughts in the comment section. So you can see in this green is completely different over here, green color versus the other one. So that's it for today. Signing off, it's for Mania.